Uh, so here's a video. This time we're not just talking about a box plot, but we're going to be comparing box plots. So this is from a previous video, but I'm going to go one step further. Uh, I'm going to put what we might call back-to-back -back box plots, um, and then we're going to compare the two of them. So for that, we're going to need another data set. I'm also going to drag this down. We're going to take a look at it. Okay, so here's my second set, and I'm going to compare that second set to this first set, which I've already done. Move my thing down so I can put another set in there. So this is set one. Just a class of students that did like a test out of 20. Uh, now here's my set two. Had a minimum of three. Excuse the bell. Oops, let's use, let's use the same color. Here. Minimum of three. Q1 of five. Median of 11. Q3 of 14. And a max of 19. Let's grab a box and whisker plot. Okay, uh, and then I might just label these so we can see clearly what's going on. Uh, what's that? 14 and 19. Okay, so I'm just going to try to get out of the way a little bit. We have two box plots and we're going to compare those two box plots. Now, we can talk about this stuff a lot. So, for instance, if we're comparing two classes, set one, and we're comparing that to set two, or class one and class two, we can say that class two had a student, had a individual student that obviously performed better than set, than, uh, set one. The best student got 19, the best student got 17 in set one versus set two. We could also say, though, that in that class, uh, the lowest student was lower than in this class. We could also say that set two has a greater range. So whichever teacher here has low performing students and high performing students, set one is slightly more bunched up, talking about range. We can also see that set two has a larger interquartile range, because this is our interquartile range compared to this interquartile range. We can also say things like 50% of students in set two, if you can see that from, Q, from the median, to the max, that's 50% of students. 50% of students here performed as well as 25% of students here. Or to put it another way, 50% of students from class two performed better than the bottom 75% of students from set one. Uh, because when it comes to analyzing these box plots, this is 25%, this is 25%, this is 25%, and this is 25%. Each one of these parts of our plot represent 25% of the total data. Okay, so think about how we can compare these two box plots. Um, this is really going to come down to communication. Well, first of all, it's going to come down to drawing it, and then it's going to come down to communicating what you are seeing inside of that data. Uh, we're going to run through some of those in class, plenty of writing out. It's going to, it's going to come down to communication when it comes to comparing these.